In this video, we're going to show you one of the best man and zone beaters, Man 23. This will beat every defense in the game. And with the patch to improve play action blocking, really every block in the game, this has become one of the best, one of my favorite personal plays. The play is P slot corner, and uh, it was already one of my favorite plays before, but this specific setup is really good right now. And I'm going to give you two variations of it. Um, one for if you have outside apprentice, and one if you don't, okay? Now, if you want to get my uh, Trips Tied In ebook, we're in the New England playbook. You can also run this out of, I want to say, the Raiders playbook and as well as uh, the Detroit playbook. Okay? Uh, but what you're going to see here is we're, this corner route to Godwin, we're actually going to turn this into a post and we're going to build around this. So um, we're going to turn this into a post by motioning him across. And this specific route is probably a top route in Madden uh, this year. It's really effective. So what we're going to do for our first setup is we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to streak our middle trips receiver. And we're going to C route our outside trips receiver. So if they are in zone coverage, watch this pocket that this gets into. And you might be thinking to yourself... How does that inside third get shifted to the left side of the screen? Well, it has everything to do with the default stature that most people are going to run a cover three out of. And you'll see that even if I bring these safeties into the box, it's still going to get pulled back out of the way. You'll see here there's a middle third there. And you see that it's getting pulled out. And it's also getting pulled to the left side uh, because of the grid system that Madden is built on. Now, the only way to basically keep this from happening would be to flip your cover three. Now, and I'll show you what this looks like. So, um, they're going to flip their cover three. You run your setup. And let's just um, set it up. So, what you'll see now, here's a third from the middle. This is still going to leave that same window open because the streak is on the left side of the field. The vertical or the third is going to have to quickly rotate uh, to the left side of the field. Let me give you another variation of this. What if we did, we took the middle linebacker and put him in the middle third, like a little double buzz uh, type of thing to kind of improve the middle of the, the middle field coverage that we have in this. So you'll see here, here's the, the setup again and then i want you to watch circle you'll see he's going to drift back into the left and it leaves that little window wide open that's why this play is becoming one of my favorite plays because it breaks down coverage so easily and they have to user it um they have to have to user this deep skinny post that we're gonna or this um little short i don't know if it's a short post but this this little post uh, that God was on, they're going to have to use it. Here's cover four drop, by the way. You'll see again, just free form right into that little pocket. And you see how open this is. Now, if I was to go to cover two, I'll get, that'll be my last zone coverage. And then we'll get into some of the adjustments that you're going to see at a high level from man and zone. But like I said, this is such a good play because um, it, this tight end can be on an in route or a drag. Okay. Uh, but what you'll see here is cover two. And you'll see... Again, this little pocket that you can hit this in, okay? Now, let's talk about adjustments your opponent has to make to stop this play. Um, the first thing first is if they are going to play some variation of a zone, um, let's say they play cover two. This C route on the left side is one of the best cover two beaters in the game this year. What you'll see is he's going to go in, that streak's going to pull the deep half, and that's going to be wide open on the sideline. So they're going to have to, they, they can't really play cover two, okay? Um, what they're going to have to do is play some variation of a cover three coverage, um, and I want to show you what happens to that as well. So uh, for this specific play, I like to be on the wide side of the field, but you can, I think, I'm pretty sure this works on the short side too. Anyways, you'll see against cover three, that this C route is still open. So now they have to really over adjust their coverage. What that means is, practically speaking, they have to now play a variation of a coverage that kind of looks like this. And they have to have a hard flat for the tight end drag. And then their user is going to be coming down into the middle of the field to guard the post. This is the best defense that they can have, but it requires them to user this uh, post and they have to hope 
that the safety will actually play good man coverage on the left side. A lot of times, you'll see like right here, I can still kind of throw that as a little bit of a bad pass lead, um, but I can still kind of throw this ball to Mike Evans. Obviously, there's several other plays in trip side in that we can do once they start to make these specific adjustments. Uh, for example, just leaving the tight end on a corner and running the scissors action um, is a great way, and it's going to kind of work into our second setup here in just a second. Um, but you'll see here, just get this outside, and um, that right there is a bad example. But anyways, um, you know, and they are double teaming your C route and all that stuff. So, you know, you can kind of figure out some other uh, some other options, such as something like this, where if you don't have outside apprentice, this is a great variation of this play because now this guy is going to come underneath and create conflict in the middle of the field, and then we still have our post over the top. So now the user is in conflict underneath and i'll show you what this looks like again so if they start to really make these kind of adjustments where they're really zoning back to help the tight end and they're lurking their whole concept is they're going to be the middle of the field and just to illustrate we're going to put him in a third but just know he's going to be the user and he's going to be the, uh, guarding this post it's really simple just streak this guy and then do something like this and you can even stop chris godwin in motion but now the corner route to the tight end becomes a really really good man beater especially if you have short and elite on that and then secondly the other thing that's really valuable is the fact that we now have uh this ability here from this backside drag so again if you want to snap him like right about here while he's in motion they won't run into each other and then you see how this is just such a good little read, creates natural picks and rubs for this drag route to come open. This play spaces the field. It's one of the best one of the best spacing plays I have figured out this year. Um, it just really does space the field well, uh, especially if you want to take advantage of the C route against man. The C route's one of the been, has been and is one of the best man beaters in the game. So they have to over adjust and overcompensate to help them stop that route right there, which in turn, and even if, again, even if they do have a zone out here, um, the beauty of this in route is, uh, is that it's going to take a little bit more time to get open. So you'll see right in there, and then you can throw that on a hard flat and get about 15, 10, uh, or uh, 7 to 10 yards. So, And then if you start to see those adjustments, then you can change your adjustments up. You don't need a deep route anymore. Or you know you could do something like this because they're not middle thirding, right? They're just man coverage. It's just man coverage with an outside third now. So in a coverage like this, there's no zone that you need to pull because they're in man. So you could do something like this right here, and this is going to space the field really nicely as well. You're attacking the corner on the right. You've got that guy there, and then you have this guy coming across the field as well. So there's so much you can do with trips this year. I think it's really a great trips year. Um, if you guys want to learn how I like to run my trips, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description below. But this little play right here, when you leverage the power of this route, there are so many things you can do. I mean, you could do you could run a route, route combo like this as well, um, which is a great little Y cross type of concept. Uh, you know, so you know, use this use this uh, corner, but also use it as a post. It is very effective. If you guys want to get my full trips tied in ebook, make sure that you head down to the description below and click the link down below. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to uh, join the Patreon, it's just $10. Head down to the description of the video. You get all ebooks, all updates to those ebooks. And the link to sign up is in the description.